I am an entrepreneur and a father. And to me as an entrepreneur, the things that I focus on is the things that can help millions, hundreds of millions or billions of people live a better life. So to me as an entrepreneur, my fundamental job is to create product or services that help people live better. So if you want to create a successful company, you start by saying, what can I do that will make people's life better? Right? So from an, as an entrepreneur, I have now done seven uh, companies and every single one of them have been in a different industry. And the reason is I believe that once you become good at anything, once you become an expert at something, you become an incrementalist. That means you start to be maybe 10% better than anybody in the world, but you'll never be 10 times better than someone else in the world. To do that, you have to rethink the problem. Come as an outsider, challenge the foundation of what experts have taken it for granted. And when you do that, you can recreate, reimagine, and actually disrupt the industry that you're currently in. Right? Uh, as a father, the biggest, I mean, my, my proudest moments are when our children are doing the things that extend the same principle. That means they are involved in doing things that makes people's life better. Because in my world, in my world, your success is never measured by how much money you have in the bank. Your success is measured by how many lives you improve. And all of our children are all entrepreneurs, not only just leaving the better children for the world, but better world for your children, but also leaving the better children for you, for the world, so they can continue to pursue the same type of uh, values that you actually set out for them to do. So I really feel that it, your, you know, your self-worth as an entrepreneur is not defined by how much you own. Your self-worth is defined by how much you create. So I started Wyom with a fundamental belief that we as humanity must overcome this epidemic we have of chronic diseases. Every one of us knows people we have lost our loved ones to cancer, to heart disease, to diabetes, right? Depression, anxiety, dementia, where people, our loved ones lose their memory, Alzheimer, all of these diseases are the diseases that are fundamentally killing us as humanity. And these diseases are becoming more and more prevalent and younger and younger people are starting to get more and more diseases, right? And I thought, what if we can create a create a company that will be able to understand what's happening inside the human body and to be able to prevent and cure these chronic diseases or even aging because aging is just a chronic disease and what if we could live healthy as long as we live so i'm not talking about living forever i'm talking about living healthy as long as you live so increase your health span not just the lifespan that means your last five ten years of your life should not be something that you have to regret living your every day of your life should be as if you have all the energy and so wyom is on a simple mission is to be able to create a world where being sick is truly a matter of choice You know, all of us came from the same industry. Elon was running Zip2 and I was running InfoSpace. And then he did the Space Express and I did the Moon Express. So we all have been really looking at, you know, from the fundamental perspective, going to the space or solving healthcare. It comes down to is simply about what do you want to do? What is it that you believe will change the trajectory of how humanity is going to live? And then go out and dedicate your life to making it possible, right? So to me, whether you look at Elon Musk, absolutely, you got to love him what he's doing. You look at Richard Branson, you start to look at, you know, other people in the space industry like Jeff Bezos. These are all of us are essentially doing the same thing, is trying to find a different way to be able to solve the problem where we can create the infrastructure on different places other than planet Earth so we can actually not have to all die 
if something happens to our planet. Yeah, so I think that first of all, you have to know as an entrepreneur, you only fail when you give up. Everything else is simply a stepping stone to a different idea, the different things. So your idea may or may not work. So as I think the Addison said that I did not fail 10,000 times. I simply understood the 10,000 different ways the electric bulb does not work. And that's what allowed me to find a way it actually did work, right? And that to me is as entrepreneurship is about experimenting many things until you find what works. As an entrepreneur, uh, let me give you one framework that I use for myself, which I think to me is the most powerful framework. As I told you that I have done now seven companies from, you know, it doesn't matter what industry they are in. I am not an expert in that industry. So what I do is every time before I start a new project, I ask myself three questions. Why this? Why now? Why me? And that means is why, why this is, if I'm going to solve a problem, would it help a billion people live a better life, right? Being, asking something different, thinking like a naive person, not thinking like an expert, and that's the key to your success.